Hello everyone, this is Mohamed Yakub again, and this is another video on the Steam 3204 Discovery Board tutorial series. And this video is going to be another SD card tutorial. Uh, and at this video, I want to show you how to use SD card with 4 bits mode and also using DMA. Because in my first tutorial, I only shown you how to use uh, 1 bit mode, and many people have been asking about 4 bits mode. Uh, and also, another thing I want to highlight here is that uh, a lot of people seem to be having an issue with the latest Cubamix version and SDIO driver. An easy fix for this is to downgrade to one of the early Cubamix versions. Uh, I prefer Cubamix version 4.21. I think it's an extremely stable version. Uh, so to downgrade to a, an early Cubamix version, you first need to uninstall your current latest Cubamix version, just like uninstalling any software on your PC with control panel, and then install 4.21 from this link. So I'll provide the link down in the description, here you will find, if you scroll down a little bit, you will find these uh, earlier Cubamix versions here uh, in a zip file. Uh, I prefer 4.21. So you may pause the video here and downgrade your Cubamix. Alright, uh, assume you finished downgrading your Cubamix. Uh, let's make start and open uh, the uh, downgraded Cubamix, uh, version 4.21 in my case. Uh, as usual, first click on your project. Uh, and select the right board, mine is Team 3204 Discovery Board, so it's the... I'm gonna go with the board selector this time. That's an F4, F4 Discovery. And on the pinout, I'll first start by clearing all the default pins and enable them my own. So go to pinout and clear pinouts. Yes. Uh, then I'll enable my LEDs, so PD12 to PD15, set them as GPIO output. Uh, and now we'll enable the SDIO peripheral. So scroll down until you find SDIO, here it is. And I'll enable it and set the mode to 4 bits mode. Unlike our first tutorial, we used 1 bit. So uh, select 4 bits wide bus. And this enabled many pins. Uh, 4 data lines, a command line, and a clock line. Uh, and now we need to enable the uh, FATFS uh, middleware. So uh, set the mode to SD card. Uh, and I just remember, before I carry on, I just want to show you that this version is actually a 4.21 so go to help to take your current version and click about so this one is 4.21 okay so let's carry on next I want to configure my clock I'm going to use the PLL good and set the uh, my clock to 72 megahertz I like that frequency and make sure that the 48 megahertz clocks is 48 megahertz because this one can be a little bit lower than this okay then go to configuration uh, go to SDIO uh, and we need to set a, a clock divide factor of uh, 3 at least. Uh, this one will make sure that the SD card interface is very stable. But if the clock was very fast, it, it might not work. Uh, especially with the 4 bits mode. Okay, uh, that's all we need to do. So click OK. And then uh, one more setting in the FATFS middleware uh, is that I will increase the maximum uh, page size or the maximum sector size to the maximum it can possibly be which is 4096 and that's all I click this icon to generate the source code so you need to select a location to store your files in and give the project a name I'm gonna call it SD card uh, 4 bits video and select the right IDE so Q MDK arm or or Kiel microvision or Kyle microvision 5 uh, I'll increase the heap size to 2000 in hex and 4000 the stack size and uh, click OK. Uh, and by the way, this setting is only for using the 4 bits mode without the DMA. We'll get back to Cubamix again to set up the DMA in a bit, but let's first test the 4 bits mode in its own. Alright, and then Cal Macrovision expand this project folder, uh, application user and over the main, uh, and then here we can just start writing our code. So I'll start from begin number 2 to uh, first do the if mount to check if the SD card is connected or not so using a function called if mount and this function takes a few parameters the first parameter is a FATFS object uh, and a pointer to that so I'm going to define this uh, globally and begin number zero this is important I think it has to be outside the main so it's FATFS a variable and I'll call it my uh, FATFS and I'll pass it to the function uh, as a pointer with the ampersand sign uh, and the second parameter is the path uh, you'll find the path object or the path variable defined in uh, FATFS C file so I'm going to open it and it's defined in here it's called SD path it's already a global variable so it will be seen by the main 
so I'm going to pass it here good and the third parameter is just click number one to uh, mount the SD card and if this one is equal to if R OK then I'll proceed I'll put an if condition here so if this is equal to OK I'm going to proceed and toggle my uh, perhaps a green LED first uh, and this fu function will turn my green LED on uh, and next I need to create a text file to write data to using a function called uh, if open uh, this function takes the first parameter a file um, file variable uh, I need to define that similarly outside the main here so it's a FIL variable and I'll call it my file and I need to pass this as a pointer to uh, if open function with the ampersand sign uh, and the second parameter is the uh, file name or file path I want to create so I'm going to define a character array and um, call it my file name is equal to um, test1 like text file dot txt uh, and I'll pass this as a parameter here uh, and the third parameter is the mode so we want to create a file so we want to write a file so if a write uh, or and also if a create always this is the mode of our file open uh, and again I'll check if this one is equal to uh, OK if R OK uh, then I'll proceed I'll put uh, an F condition here as well so if this one is equal to if R OK uh, I'll turn another LED on perhaps the orange LED just as an, as an indication that this worked OK so my orange LED is on pin 13 uh, and then I'll write data to my text file using if write function uh, the first parameter I need to pass is the file pointer, which is my file, um, as a pointer, of course. And the second parameter is the buffer that contains the data I want to write. So I need to define another another character variable. I'll call it my data, and that's I need to store whatever I want to write to the uh, file in here. Uh, so I want to write hello from Steam 304 disk to SDIO in 4 bits mode to my uh, test1 file. So I need to pass this uh, as a parameter and then the size of the data so size of this guy uh, and next the last parameter is the uh, the variable that stores the number of bytes that is already written and this is an unsigned integer so I UNT and I'll call it my bytes this one will store the number of bytes written if there is an error um, so you rarely need this if you didn't have an error uh, and I'll again check if this one is equal to OK then I'll uh, proceed. I'll put uh, an F condition again here as well. If this one is equal to OK, I'll, t I'll turn my um, LED, one of my LEDs on, perhaps the uh, blue one. Uh, and the blue one is on uh, pin 15. And when this is done, I'll close my file using F close function. And this takes only a single parameter, the uh, file uh, pointer. So my file. Uh, and if the SD card didn't mount successfully, I'll turn my uh, red LED on as an indication that, that it failed opening the SD card. And my red LED is on pin 14. Alright, and that's all I need to do here. So you need to connect your SDIO module according to, pin, to the pin out here. So if you got, you need to have an SDIO module, connect the data 0, 1, 2, 3, f and the clock and the command line to your SDIO module, and then proceed. So I'll first compile the code here. All right, compiled successfully without any errors. Now let's load it to the board and gonna have a look at the LEDs on the board. All right, that seemed to work. My three LEDs came on. So let's plug in the SD card to my PC and see if the file is written successfully. Uh, we called it test one and we've written hello from STM 304 and in, in, in four bits mode. Okay. So let's open the file. Alright, cool. It has our test1 text file. So let's open it and see what's inside it. Alright, very good. So hello from Steam 32 for Disco SDIO in 4 bits mode. Very good. Alright, so that's simply how to use SDIO in 4 bits mode. Now let me show you how to use it with uh, DMA as well. To enable DMA, uh, let's get back to Cubamex. So I'm going to get back here, go to configuration, and on SDIO, go to DMA settings 
and I'd need to add a team aim for TX line and for RX line independently. So uh, add another one for the RX. And I'd also enable uh, the SDIO global interrupt and click OK. That's all you need to do. So let's uh, regenerate the source code. Uh, and just before I regenerate, I'll close the project files so that I'll open it again. And now click on generate source code in here in QMX. And wait for that to finish. Uh, and now click on open project again. Alright, so this enabled DMA line, but we also need to link the SDIO and FATFS library uh, to use DMA now instead of the normal CPU functions. So first we need to open PSP driver for SD card and search for um, read blocks DMA uh, which is this one and replace the body of it. Uh, we need to replace it by uh, this one. So for the read uh, blocks DMA we need to put this body for the function. Uh, this is a modification for the current library for a reason explained in this link. I'll provide the link down in the description. I got this from this uh, SD microelectronics um, tutorial. So I'll replace the body with the uh, one in here. Uh, I'll also provide this text file down in the description for you too. Uh, next we need to replace the body of the write blocks DMA. So this one was the read blocks, now the write blocks as well. Replace it by this one. Good. Uh, next we uh, open the uh, so the fact of this middleware, we need to open the disk I.O. file. Uh, oh no, this should be the SD disk I.O. So this file. And we look for SD read and SD write functions. You'll find them down in here. Okay, so this is SD read function. And we're also going to replace the body of it. So this one uses the SD read blocks, but this should be the SD read blocks DMA. And we, we're going to put the corresponding uh, code for the DMA as well. So we're going to put this body instead. So this uses the SD read blocks DMA function. Uh, and now similarly we need to replace the SD write uh, function body to use DMA instead of the normal SD write blocks uh, the CPU function. <coughs> so we're going to copy the uh, body DMA body of it uh, and put it in here. Uh, and this linked the DMA to the low-level SD library. So now we're ready to go. Let me compile the code, load it to the board, and we should expect the same result. But for this, I'm going to create another text file. I'll call it test2. Uh, and we'll change the data to uh, in 4 bits mode and I'll write plus DMA. Uh, and we'll save the changes and compile the code. Uh, and we'll load it to the board. And let's have a look at the LEDs on the board first. Awesome, seems to be working. So let's plug in the SD card to my PC and see the content. Very good, here is test2 file, let's open it. Fantastic, hello from SDM 304 Disco, SDR in 4 bit mode plus DMA. Alright, and this brings me to the end of my tutorial today. Uh, if you found it helpful, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.